<laughs> My uncle swallowed a frog. Is he okay? Okay? The doctor said he's liable to croak in any minute. Today's episode is about cleanliness. So we all decided it'd be a great idea to bring in our favorite cleaning products. First, our favorite soaps. My name's Catherine, and my favorite soap is Ivory, 99.9% .9 pure. I'm Stallings, and what does that even mean? I mean, are soaps typically adulterated with strychnine and mercury? You know, it's soap, it's not tuna. I don't know, I just think it sounds pretty. My favorite soap is Lever 2000. Mmm, smell it. It smells like clean man. And look at it. It looks so cool. And I think it's really cool that it's named after one of the great Simple Machines. The 2000 Simple Machine to be exact. I'm Chelsea and my favorite soap is Dove. I like that it's named after an ice cream bar. Today's conversation with Supreme Court Justices Wait, is... Catherine, are you eating that soap? Yeah, why wouldn't I? It makes me clean. Not by eating it. Really? Or that's how it works with vitamins. Hello, welcome to the Gorilla Beach Film Factory. Today, oh. Why didn't you catch that? I threw it right to you. I didn't know you were throwing it to me. Well, look alive out there. Keep your big head on a swivel. Catherine, what game are you playing? It's a game I invented. It's called Goofball. Basically, someone throws the ball and the other person catches it. The first team to beat the other wins. There's a lot more rules to it than that, but those are the basics. It's funny you should mention rules because today's episode is about obeying rules. Yeah, so why don't you show us how to play this new game? Hey everybody, welcome to the... What is that? I, I think the sun is going Nova. Hey guys. Hey. Hey, why do you have a mirror, Catherine? To look at myself with. Duh, dipstick. But why do you want to look at yourself now? I just had an icy and I want to make sure I don't have any in my teeth. But ices don't... Hey, that's neat because our topic today is self-awareness. And what better way to get an objective look at yourself than in a mirror? Hey, look into the mirror, Catherine, and tell us what you see. I see a young girl who just had the best icy ever, celery. I see a loving daughter and a caring sister. I see a girl who hates corn dogs but likes digging through the neighbor's garbage. Here, what do you see, Chelsea? I see a girl who loves to play the piano and I see a huge white head. Gross! That's not gross. I saw that like three hours ago. Let me see. When I look into the mirror, I see... Ah, oh, the sun! My retinas! Ah, oh, my retinas! Here's a towel so you can wipe out the blood and watch this. We're just comparing our favorite school lunches from back in the day. Mine is vegetable beef soup and grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, it don't get no better than this. I don't think that's beef. It just moves. Well, I mean, it's sometimes a little undercooked, but that gives it flavor. My favorite is chicken rings. And look, you can make earrings out of them. Very stylish. What about you, Rickshaw? Mine's this. What is it? I don't know, but I ate it every Friday for 12 years, and it's better than a bucket full of hamsters. This side's always burnt, though. Our topic today is eating etiquette, something we all take for granted. Yeah, I was eating with these people yesterday, and this guy started eating without even washing his hands. Then he offered me a bite of this mahi mahi shabu shabu style. What'd you say? I told him to get that hepatitis out of my face. I wasn't eating that. Gross. <laughs> yeah, when I was eating lunch yesterday, <laughs> This guy, he had a seizure and fell right into his bowl of chili. His face was all burned up. Ugh. That's not funny. I know. Greetings from Gorilla Beach. Wish you were here. I'm Chelsea, codenamed CeeLo. And I'm Stalling, codenamed Agent S. And where is Catherine? I'm right here. Catherine, what are you doing on that bike? I'm riding it. Yes, but why? Because today's episode is about bicycle safety. And boy, do I need it. I'm not even wearing a helmet. And do you know, on the way over here, I almost got stung by a Portuguese man of war. Someone threw it at me. Here it is. Put that down before you get stung. They sting you? Yes, bad. This would probably be a good time to show you our conversations with Supreme Court justices. 
This week, I interviewed Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer. Hi! That stinks! Let's roll the tape. It's burning my tongue! Hello. Hi. Yo! We're here on Gorilla Beach, and today's episode is about understanding others. Sometimes we get so self-absorbed that we don't even bother trying to understand the people around us. Like me. I don't understand Catherine. Hey, well, I don't understand you. Well, I don't understand your shirt. I don't understand your hat. I don't understand your mama. I don't understand algebra. Well, I don't understand macroeconomics. I don't understand how sound travels in invisible waves. Guys, understanding each other is very important because it helps us get along instead of fighting or putting one another down. That's true. I'm sorry, Catherine. I'm sorry, Stallings. How can I get to know you better, Catherine? Well, you can start by getting to know my pet. Toby? I thought he got smashed by a ginger ale truck. Not Toby. David, my most special pet. I'll go get him. Did you see that someone cut a large round hole in one of the walls surrounding that swimsuit contest that's going on over there? Huh, did somebody call the police? Yeah, they're looking into it. The hardest part to keep clean though is my hair. That's why I use head and shoulders. It not only cleans my hair, but also my shoulders. Well, I only use shampoos from the 1970s. Contemporary shampoos always include ingredients that aren't groovy and mellow. So my favorite shampoo is, gee, your hair smells terrific. Gee, your hair does smell terrific. I know, thanks. My favorite shampoo is Lever 2000 because the skin on top of my head is pretty much the same as the skin everywhere else on my body. Hey, I wonder if we mix these two together if it'd be any good. Gee, your shoulders smell terrific. Might be cool. Might not. The next rule is that you can only make a forward pass if both feet are planted on the ground and one foot is in the air. How are you supposed to do that? That's why this game is so cool. It's not only about skill, also about strategy. Hi, hope you enjoyed the conversation. We're still trying to learn the rules of goofball here and we're having a little difficulty. Mainly because the rules don't make any sense. Yes, ha, huh, they do. What about the rule that says you can't headbutt someone with braces? That makes perfect sense. How? Because if you do, their braces are going to scar up your forehead. Anyways, here's today's rifflet called School Rules, How They Help Us. They ain't never helped me. Let's watch today's rifflet and maybe you'll feel a little bit differently. <laughs> Ow! Ah! Cut it out! You have more than two pockets on your shorts. I get a free head bus. I give you a free head bus. Can't. It's not Tuesday. Catherine, I didn't know you were so good at guitar. I learned from one of the best, Don Ho. Isn't he that Hawaiian guy who plays the ukulele? It's an ukulele. And isn't he dead? Well, he is now. But he wasn't dead then, I don't think. Do you still have those shoes? No, I gave them to Goodwill. Wait, did they look like these? I just got those at Goodwill yesterday. Awesome. I got these shorts there too. Those are mine too. Cool, what about these drawers? Whoa! Wait, not, not cool. No. Oh, those drawers. Actually, those are mine. For a minute there, I thought you got your underwear at Goodwill. Not anymore. Not since I got Lyme disease at one time. Hey, Catherine, maybe you can ride into town and get us some Starbucks. Okay. Where's town? Maybe we shouldn't send her alone. Yeah, besides, I don't really like Starbucks. I can't stand it. I think it tastes like burnt fresh. Yeah, I don't either. I only drink coffee out of the can. Right. Uh, anyway, before you go riding this thing into town, maybe we should take a look at some good bicycle safety rules. Hey, here comes Catherine. Hey guys, I brought David. Your pet's a sand dollar? Yeah, isn't it cool? What's that on it? It's his bathrobe. He doesn't like it, but I think it's really cute. You know what else is cute? Sometimes at night when he misses the ocean, he curls up on my bed with me. Don't you, David? This is weird. It's not as weird as that time that she collected those old buttermilks. That was like two hours ago. Still, it's getting better. We should encourage her. That was a great interview with Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Catherine. Thanks. 
You weren't even really there, were you? No. <laughs> okay. I understand you buried your cat last week. I had to. He was dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, funky BO can turn people way off, especially Supreme Court justices. That's why I use Mitchum. It's tough like a woman. My favorite DO for BO is Secret. It makes me feel like, I don't know, like I've got this really cool secret that everybody wants to know, but only I have it, and I'm keeping it hidden inside my armpits. My favorite deodorant is Degree. It's body heat activated. That explains why you always stink in the winter. Hey, you're lucky I don't stink you with this. Now, when you run with the ball, you can either carry it between your legs or in your mouth. But it's too big to carry in your mouth. Guess you'll be using the leg method then. Chelsea and I are learning the hard way that unless we follow the rules, Catherine is going to beat us at goofball every single time. That's just one more reason why rules are important. Here's another look at rules in today's mini movie. One. Fuck! to run with the ball either in between your legs or in your mouth. Can you believe that? Rule number 16, never believe a member of the opposing team. I got you good. You know this game is stupid, right? You wouldn't be saying that if you were winning. No, I'd be saying that if I were a tree stump. This game is stupid. Hater. I'm not a hater. I don't even know what she said. I used to have an uncle who was a clown. I wonder if he dressed like one when he was a kid. I had an uncle who was a car salesman, and he did dress like that all the time, even when he was a kid. I had an uncle who was a drunk, but he didn't really get dressed at all. I mean, not in conventional dress, anyway. That hunk of cake was bigger than a TIE fighter. You know, when it comes to eating etiquette, Phil isn't the only Mr. Bungle. There are lots of famous people notorious for their bad eating manners. Cookie Monster, for example. He eats with his mouth open. I know another one, Phil. We already said that. What about William Howard Taft, the 27th president of the United States of America? He once ate an entire bathtub that was in the White House. I think he actually got stuck in a bathtub. Or it got stuck in him. Okay, too vivid an image. Um, can we think of any more? Uh, what about the Rancor monster from Return of the Jedi? Good call. I got one, Oprah. Okay, sure. Stallings, do you remember where you were when Mama Cass died? Hoping to one day be born? That happened before I arrived on the scene. Same with Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and Elton John. Elton John's not dead. Well, that's your opinion. Who's Elton John? I think it's because all the food is poisoned. Does David eat breakfast? Of course, every day. What does a sand dollar eat? Grits, duh. Duh, indeed. How was your trip to the farm? First day, a chicken died. What happened? We ate fried chicken. The second day, a pig died. What happened? We had fried pork chops. The third day, farmer died. What happened? I left. <laughs> that giant fly was so disgusting. Could have been worse. Could have been a giant roach. Or a giant panda. What if it were a giant millipede? You talk about some germs on his feet. Okay, here's the final rule of the game. Must be obeyed at all times. Anyone's wearing a belt, they have the option of playing either offense or defense. Unless said person is from Bolivia, then he has to be offense. For Canadians, it's opposite. They gotta be defense. Okay, I think we got it. Okay, here we go. Fight. Don't touch me, I will use this. Oh man, you were born in Indiana? That's not fair! Hey, those are your rules. I hope you learned something. I did. I think we all did. Hey, can you do my homework for me? No, it wouldn't be right. Well, can you at least try? That was awesome. La mano! It was very interesting. It should make us all stop and think. La mano! which is exactly what we will do right now as we reflect on what we learn. La mano! Stop doing that.
I took your advice and turned my favorite lunch into a pair of earrings. I think I did not advise you to do that. What? But you lead by example. Then follow my example and chunk that junk into the ocean. You know, I'm not even sure that seagulls are going to eat whatever that is. I don't want them to. I'm going to eat them myself. Eat my dust, amigos! Oh! Metawar! Hope you brought your own snack. I did. Chicken rings. Bye! Be seeing you. Well, I understand you a lot better now, Catherine, and I appreciate the fact that you care so much about an innocent little sand dollar that you made him your pet. You mean David? To tell you the truth, I think he died three weeks ago. It's hard to tell the difference between a live sand dollar and one that's already conked out. What are you going to do with him? Bury him at sea, I guess. What about his robe? I think I'll keep it. I'm getting a pet wolverine. Maybe he can wear it. Maybe. Until next time. Goodbye. Bye. My dad beats me up every morning. That's terrible. I know. He gets up at 7 and I get up at 8. <laughs> and don't forget to keep away from flies. They carry a lot of germs on their feet. Like you? I don't. I do? Until next time. Goodbye. I don't have any germs on my feet. My feet are clean. Can you be so sure? Pretty sure. I can do a litmus test. Uh, that's a bad idea. You get a false positive like 30% of the time on those things. I think that's a pregnancy test. If my feet are pregnant, I hope they have twins. Four feet would be awesome. This episode made me feel so good, I'm gonna go out and obey some rules right now. Ugh. You said the word episode. Rule number 19, clause 54 says that if you say episode, I get a free head bust. Goodbye. Bye. So you guys want to get our friends and go to Longhorns for dinner? It's not Longhorn stalling. It's just Longhorn. Yep, that earned you a supernova blast. Ah! How do you do that? What do you get in at Longhorns? It's not Longhorns. It's Longhorn. How do you know? Just walk. <laughs>